Stories of the Companions, Chapter 9, G. Ibn Umar replies to a question. Somebody said to Ibn Umar, radiallahu anhu, Allah has said in Al-Quran something about Salah, and peace, and Salah, and fear, but he has not said anything about Salah during a journey. He replied, O my nephew, Allah sent Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and his messenger, to us. When we were ignorant and do nothing, we must do what we have seen him doing. Uh, no, this shows that it is not necessary that each and every regulation should be explicitly mentioned in Al Quran. The acts of Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, are a very good guide for practice. While there's Quranic verses to point out why and um, hinting at the Um, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, I have been given Al-Quran and other commandments. Beware of the time which is coming shortly when people with full sitting on the couches will say, Stick to Al-Quran only. Carry out the commandments contained therein. Now, what happens there is that the Quran Salah is not just an ordinary word for prayer. And then you find out, okay, what are these forms that we're supposed to take on? Because we're, oh, and like the prophet gave us, and what he gives you and what he doesn't. Um, oh, that's a whole huge discussion. No, corrupt views are generally inspired by arrogance due to wealth, and perhaps that is why the phrase, people with full stomachs, is used for such people. Oh, full stomachs. Oh. So full translation in one part, not in another, so... Sometimes it's good to hold my breath about a comment.